Hey everyone, so this is the, well, it's not the final, because it is the last week of work. I'm going to do a little bit of a video next week and talk in class about um, how to do the final preparation of your Excel sheet. But this week, we are going to, uh, I'm going to go over a lot of, I'm going to review a bunch of stuff for you, and then we're also going to go over or go through some of the original content uh, that I provided as we break things down. And that namely is the results or the documents provided by the policy carrier um, and also um, the group that helps out. And we'll look and see what they had recommended, what they said, and we'll look at what we said or what we found, excuse me, and we'll make some determinations. And so please open up this document right here, the updated info tab, and you can we can take a look at it right now um, nope, that's not it. <laughs> that's what we're going to play with in a little bit. Here it is. So I've got the updated. So this is similar to what we're going to do. We're going to kind of break everything down based on um, what what they provided us and compare it to what we have found and just see what, what the differences are. Just to get a deeper understanding of how, um, how our trends, how our forecasted losses may affect the bigger picture. You know, so we're going to try to compare things to the EMR. So we'll be playing with that in lecture on Tuesday. Now that was supposed to be Thursday, but our Tuesday guest lecture, um, lecturer, just uh, asked to move to Thursday. He had a conflict. So we are going to have him on Thursday, hopefully. <laughs> It'll be the second time we've had to reschedule him. So that's what we're going to do on Tuesday. We're going to go through these things. But for this week, all you're going to be doing is is filling in these three final results tables with the results that we had. Now we have to update these things, right? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to highlight and copy this tab. And then I'm going to try to bring over my other. So here's my work. I'm going to go all the way to the end. And I'm going to add it. Did it not put it on the end? Okay, I'm gonna try that again. Click on that, then I'll add it. There we go. There. So I'm gonna get rid of the coloring. No fill. Uh, these. This is forecasted to 2024. Where is it? There it is. 2024, so we have to change everything um, to that year. And we may be reducing a few of these columns as we go through. I'm going to find out here. So what I want to do is start bringing over my results, my priority, my recommendations, and then I'm going to populate the table. And so, um, as you'll recall, um, we did both by uh, site and we did it by um, company wide, right? So uh, just want to go back to um, the table here, if it lets me. This is my final results. Final results. What color should I give it? I got to give it a really cool color because it's the final results. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I've used yellow yet, have I? Final results. All right, what do we got here? We got total, we got company wide, and then we got the priorities by plant too. Okay, good. Good, good. Well, that's kind of a breakdown, but company wide. I'm gonna make sure I, if I don't have a company wide, I'm gonna have to create it. Very easy to do. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring over this table here. It's point at 3076, manual material handling. I'm gonna highlight it. I'm gonna copy it. And then I'm gonna to go to my final results table. And this is where we want to do a special paste. And I'm going to special paste. I'd like there to be a link I'm going to do link picture because if I have to go back and change anything, then it'll automatically change it right here. Now I'm going to manually enter it. So class code 3076. This is all manually entered. The cause is manual material handling. The average number of claims per year. Okay, so we didn't do it without outliers, did we? I'm mean, sorry, we didn't do it with outliers. And so I think that's what we're going to have to start moving things around. Um, there's a lot of columns here. So uh, let's see. Average number of claims per year with outliers. Yeah, I don't want to go back and do that. I'm going to delete this. Average number of claims per year without 
delete with. Yeah, I like that a lot better, don't you? So let's get it with, so whenever it says estimated with outliers, we're gonna delete that. Total estimated with, wait. Estimated total paid, trend with. That was with, with, and with. So I wanna get rid of all three of these. Yep, okay, I'm a little happier. Made the uh, things a little bit smaller. Another thing I can do is I can copy and paste this because I'll be putting it in each one. And there will be some more. Didn't we have like seven? Insert two more. Pretty sure we had seven. I think there was an eighth, but I think I wanted to drop it. All right, let's do the zoom thing. All right, so what's the first thing we we're trying to figure out? Average number of claims per year without outliers. Um, that's our table average. That would be five. We've got the, uh, okay, so it's not a three year. It's a, is it a six year? If I'm not mistaken, 17, 18, 19. No, we didn't use 17. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So five year average. Right? I, we need to specify that just so you guys know. Let's see, what's the size of this? Why is it? I guess I could go a little bit wider with things because I um, got rid of some stuff. Is that still eight? Huh. I was really hoping I could condense that a little bit. Well, that doesn't, that's not needed. It's a little better. I don't know, we have to figure this out, right? We gotta make it look good. All right, so five. What is the average total paid for a five year without outliers? It's right here. It is um, 12,035. Uh, number of outliers removed. I can scroll down and take a look at that. We had four of them. And they totaled 202,915. Okay? Got to do the same thing over here. Estimated number of claims, estimated total paid, trend, and I'm, oh. Okay, so here is what we need to expand on. Okay, now I kind of, okay, I'm trying, I'm starting to get a little bit better adjusted here. So, this is the 2024. This is the 2024. So I think we're gonna add one more here. Trend and amount per fiscal year without outliers. So um, what we wanna do is we wanna provide the R squared, right? So the um, R, uh, R squared for total paid. Trend and amount. Well, that just means plus or minus as far as is it going up or down. So this is the this is the uh, slope slope. Got to find a good width of column here. Yeah, I'll, I'll get to that. All right. So what do we have for those numbers? Uh, estimated number of claims is ten. The estimated total amount is forty two thousand. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm taking the information from here, okay? The R squared for it is, um, for the trend, is 0 0.77, 0 0.7757, which is good. And what is the trend per year? It is 71.99. And it's positive. It's a positive 71.99. Yeah, so this is what we're going to use, right? You know, we already highlighted it. We've got what the annual average is. We've got what the trend is as far as what the slope is, what the R square value is, what that is. So that's what we're going to use over here. What's the estimated 2024 forecasted loss for this particular, you know what we forgot to do? Priority, insert, site. Forgot to put the site in. 
Okay, got to do that. Don't know why that wasn't there. You guys are probably yelling it. So, oh, what the heck am I doing? It's supposed to be sight and then boy. So that is, oh, I'm not done yet. I got to add more stuff here. I'm just going to scroll this over so I can take a look at it. So what is the loss going to be? It's the 42,000. Return. Return on investment, requested investment. The return on investment, we want it to be about 25%. Okay? That's just the number I'm giving you. Now, in order to calculate the requested investment based on that, we have to do a little bit of a calculation. Okay? And I'm going to try to show you that calculation right now. So the equation for return on investment, or ROI, is equal to the difference of the... Uh, Forecasted loss, forecasted loss minus requested investment divided by requested investment. Oh, oh that was supposed to be a, oh, what the heck? Oh, sorry, I got to write justify. There we go. That's, that's the equation we use. Um, ROI, I mean, forecasted loss could also be the... Um, Forecasted gain, forecasted gain minus the investment divided by the investment. That's your ROI. That's the equation. Let's 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 reduce it down so we can play with it. ROI is equal to, and for here we're gonna go forecasted, sorry, forecasted loss minus requested investment divided by requested investment. And what we're solving for is requested investment. That's what we're trying to figure out, okay? So the first step is I'm gonna multiply both sides by RI. So it's IR times ROI is equal to FL minus RI. I multiplied each side by the same number, which is, it makes both sides, they're still equal, right? It just it made that cancel out. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an RI to both sides. So I've got RI plus RI times ROI is equal to, it is simply FL. So when I added an RI over here, it canceled out the negative and put another one over here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to factor RI out. So RI times one plus ROI is equal to FL. Um, I don't know why that got so huge. Let's. Uh, Bring it back, there we go. So that's where we are now. Again, I'm doing the same thing both sides. Actually, this one is just a, a factor, you know. If I was to multiply that back in, it'd be RI plus RI times ROI, okay? Then what I'm gonna do is, again, I'm, I'm solving for RI. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna divide both sides by R one plus ROI. So now we get RI, which is what we're trying to solve for, is equal to the forecasted loss divided by the quantity one plus ROI. So that's what I'm gonna put up into here. So I'm gonna go equal forecasted loss, which is right here, divided by one plus this. And that's my number. That's what I'm going to request for him because if I can get this, invest it properly, and I can prevent these things from happening, I should be able to achieve a 25% return above and beyond. Uh, so there's one more thing that I want to put in here, and that is the, um, this is the out, outlier, outlier claims not included, included in forecasted loss. Okay. I don't know why that wasn't there either. I don't, I don't, I, I'd swear I used this last year and wrap text, center it, center it. So what we're doing now is, you know, yeah, I'm just gonna put the amount here. So I'm just gonna go equal and then way back here, we have that amount. 
Asking for this much should be able to give you 25%. By the way, we're not including over $200,000 in claims. That's that's what we're going to be doing. That's the the overall plan of this. Okay. Let's see. And I do want you to know how to break this equation down. That's a great exam question. And that's also why I put all this information up in here so I know which table I'm entering everything in. Okay. So let's do another one. All right, so this is going to be deleted because I think that's where my extra thing went. Yep, so here is Poinet 3076, cut puncture scrape. So I'm going to copy. Go to final results. I'm going to do a copy special picture with paste. Uh-oh, can I try that again? <laughs> if it tells you no, just try it again. I don't take no for an answer, Excel. All right, number two, POI 3076. Kind of seems like I could shrink that down a little bit. I'm trying to narrow it so then it fits on the page better. I know you guys have been having some trouble with that. So it's something we need to work on for sure. All right, this is cut, puncture, scrape. Uh, let's see, so we're looking at the tables, annual average is three. The total is eight, three, three, four. The outliers, zero. No outliers and no amount here. Okay. Boy, three zero seven six. Try to correct these things. Just I'm just trying to work on some stuff while you know, I'm thinking about it. That's still wide enough for those. All right, so cut, puncture, scrape. I guess I could have just copied and pasted over like I should have. So what's the forecasted? It's uh, three and eight thousand. What is the number down here? Oh, it's 0 0.007, 0 0.0007, three zeros. Yep, and $69. Not great, not great, not great. It's pretty much a flat line. So uh, we need to now select, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna downgrade, I'm gonna say three and 8,000 just to make it a nice even number. Okay, so bring this over, paste. I'm gonna go $8,000. I'm gonna go 25. I'm gonna bring both these down like this. Oh, I want this to be just 25. Okay, and no outliers removed for that calculation. All right, that's two down. Shrink this down. Get it out of the way. And the next one is this one right here. Copy. And paste special. Okay. This is still point at, still 3076. And now we're doing repetitive, repetitive motion. Average is two, the total is low, it's uh, three, four, four, nine. How many outliers? One, one outlier removed. Its total amount is 37,591. All right. paste. Okay. Bring this over a little bit so I can read it. 4 and 21. All right. What are my numbers? 0. 0.7646. Did I say 7646? Oh, 7646. Okay. And what's the slope? Uh, 4186. 4186. Okay. 
And because of that number, we are going to go with that one. So we're going to go with um, 21,000. We are going to go with 25%. We are going to, I'm just dragging this down. Oh, not like that though. There. And what is our amount for outliers? Oh, what's it doing? What is going on here? At work, but I don't, that was really weird. So I need to save my work. File, save as. This is final results. Save. All right, we got three of them done already. We're only 20 minutes in. Let's go to the next one. We've got right here, 3179. So uh, which one didn't I like? Do you guys remember? It was a 448 manual material handling. It was kind of a, of a mess, a bunch of zeros in there. So I'm not going to do that one. I don't like it. Um, it just, one really big year and there's another one. Otherwise they're super, super low. Nothing here really makes sense. So I'm going to leave that one out. But I am going to do 3179 here. Unless, did it have an outlier? No, it didn't. In that case, nah. If it had an outlier, I probably would um, play with it, but all right, let's, there we go. All right, so now what do we got? Point at, but now it's uh, 3179. 3179. It's not written here and I need to fix that. Point at three one seven nine, and this is repet repetitive motion. Did it? Let's see, this is three one seven nine manual material handling. Seven nine manual material handling. I wonder how many others I did not do. Cut puncture scrape. Okay. All right. Let's see if it carried over. It did. <laughs> I just get lucky sometimes. Repetitive motion. One. How much? Nine, seven, nine, three. Uh, uh oh. I'm putting that in the wrong spot. This needs to be one and 30,000. The number is uh, 4078, which is not good enough. What's the slope? Oh, I got to pause this. Okay, we're back. All right, what was I doing? Uh, yeah, I got to get the, the slope. The slope is 5174. But that's too low. So we're going to be using the annual averages. It's already highlighted on my table. Um, oh, let's bring this over. And so annual is one. It is 97. I'm sorry, 97.93. I thought I got confused there. Uh, any outliers? Yes, one and it's worth 123,865. All right. So we're going to use that number. Okay. Uh, I need to bring this all over. Copy. Paste. Equal. That much. Oh. Oh, that's really weird. Let's try that again. Okay, that time it worked, 25%, bring this down, and the uh, outlier amount is there, 
Okay. So we can do some totals here. We can equal sum. It's going to be all of this. Now, this is going to be 25 no matter what. Copy, paste, and paste. Okay. This is 25%. And I should be able to check, well, I guess the work is just right there. Instead of it being a sum, I could have just run it again, but yeah, it still works that way. All right, save my work. Shrink this down, get it out of the way. So we've done four of them. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, what's next? The manual material handling, yep, for 3179. This will be another annual average. Uh, where is it? Okay, so this is still in point act. Still 3179. This one is manual material handling. We've got one. The amount is 1865. The there are three outliers removed for a total of 157. 627. Oh, we gotta go 567. Let's copy this. I guess I'll put it down here too. Bring this over. What was it? It was one and zero. Mm. Must have been going down. What's our slope? What's that? What's this number? One one three nine. One three nine, and then the amount is a negative six hundred and forty-two, and it made it red. That's cool. So we're gonna go with the annual average. So I hit equal. See, it's not a lot. Um. down but this is a larger amount which is interesting yep two more let's just shrink this down put it down here all right save my work two more they're right here they're the Madison ones copy I don't think I went far enough over to you. I didn't. All right. So the next two are Madison. The first one is 3076. It is cut, puncture, scrape. The average is one. The amount is 5863. Outliers, one is removed. Counts for 92922. This stuff, copy, paste, paste. All right, move this over. What's our forecasted? Three and twelve. Oops. Three and twelve thousand. One, two, three. Okay, this is not a dollar sign. But what's this down here? One zero zero nine. Very low. What's the slope? Sixteen eighty one. All right. So we're going to go with the annual average on this one. So equal. It's right here. And this. I don't know if that's right or not. Probably isn't. Or is it? Yeah, I guess it was, huh? I guess I could have just equaled it to that thing over there. That's that's interesting. I think. All right, let's do one more. The last one. The last one. And then I'm gonna have to go back and start looking at it from the perspective of by sight. What am I doing? 
Oh, yeah. I don't know if you guys can hear my dog barking. This is 3076, manual material handling. So that's come up three times. We got uh, two repetitive motion, three manual material handling, and two cut puncture scrapes. So we could combine those as well and because there are priorities. We'll use the same approach for each individual one there. All right, so uh, for this, it's one, and it is two, three, eight, four, and there are no and zero, unfortunately. Fortunately, fortunately, whatever. Uh, let's see. Copy and paste. Let's shrink you down and put you somewhere. All right, what do we got here? We've got um, three and 10,000. And what is our number down here? 7998. Seven, nine, 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 the slope is 1344. 1344. All right. We have seven priorities we're going to be recommending to management. They invest, and we're going to be using the 10,000. So let's go equal 10,000. And unfortunately, this is zero. But how many pennies there? There it is. So save my work. So before we start breaking this down and looking at it from its representation from overall and just the two sites, um, this is going to be our recommendation to management. Okay, I need to fix this. Uh, undo merge and center. I don't know. I don't know. Looks a little better, right? So here it is. Um, we're going to be asking management for an investment of just you know, just under $79,000. And what are we going to do with it? We're going to, at each of these sites, talk to these workers. We're going to observe their work specifically for what may be exposing them to these causes that, that or are, if we don't do anything, are likely to require, you know, lead to this amount in claims paid. And if they'll invest this amount, we should be able to show them a return on investment of about 25%, which is approximately $98,000. Um, that, it does not include $614,000, let's say $615,000 in claims that were removed to make this more conservative. Which means, do we have to be perfect with this removal? No, we do not, because the this is sort of our you know our safety net. This is our uh, lanyard, you know, that if even if we can't eliminate everything, we're still going to be able to probably achieve a decent savings because if we can prevent one of these, that would be worth it. So that's what we're going for. Um, I'm going to come back and do the rest of this in another video because I want to review some of this work and I'm getting phone calls like crazy right now. So I need to get back to them. So this will at least get you this work done. There'll be one more much shorter video in which we review this and kind of start looking at some of the other stuff they gave us.